All right, guys, here we are, beautiful Cat's Meow and Hot Springs. We've got Veronica Corningstone, Wolf Dick Nation. You built it. Allow me, please. It, it will be my honor to send it. Let's get after it. Fingers crossed. Hopefully everything holds up. Get off my hand! Oh, my love. Wolf Tick Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tick Videos episode. And guys, on today's episode, it is the long awaited, finally here, Wolf Tick Nation. You guys built her, and we're going to be sending her today. It's Veronica Corningstone, everybody's favorite bike. And what better to be suiting her up with than everybody's favorite trail, the cat's meow. Beautiful hot springs we're fixing to fill. What this bike has got to offer, we're going to talk about it a little bit, do a real time review, and see did the Wolf Tick Nation do a good job with picking the parts? And did us non-professionals do a good job of sticking the parts on her? She's was there interesting. Was enough twisted tea consumed? There was the about process. eight twisted teas consumed. Yeah, from him. <laughs> so anyway, guys, let's get after. We're gonna talk about her. I'm really curious to see how this bike handles the cat's meow today. It's a trail I'm very familiar with. A trail that you guys are very familiar with. So uh, man, let's send it and let's see what this girl has got to offer. Um, thanks for stopping by. Let's do it. Thank you. I need my gloves. Now, I'm good to go. And now you are? Yes. Let's do this. Oh, I well, didn't hit that rock right off the bat. I don't hit rocks anymore. Oh, not anymore? That's amateur stuff. Say your grandma bye. Okay. Bye, bye. Good luck. Wolf Tick Nation, are you ready? Let's do this, Veronica Corningstone. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to use as much as I can, is I'm going to use the lockout right there on the fork okay i don't feel any differences yet i got the seat raised up pretty high john day mentioned i had the post thing wrong backwards but john day it's all right i ain't worried about that now we're going to be talking about during the climb going to the cat's meow we're going to be talking about the uh group set the ceram sx eagle with the ceram nx shifter one thing I do like about the shifter is it's pretty sleek. It's in there. I just don't know how to shift up. I can shift down pretty good. Let's see. Now we have a wide range back there. 11 to 50. 52 climbing up this no problem. All right. So group set seems to be shifting decent. And again, we're going to find out when we get up to the cat's meow exactly how that feels. Um, the grips are great. The PNW Loam Grips that Shuby sent us. I think that was a great choice on your guys' part from deciding to go with these. And something I'm really curious about, you know, this bike is what, like a medium to small frame. I think it's a 17 inch. And man, it's, uh, it's gonna be easy for me to throw this thing around. I can feel it now. And the reason I'm saying that is because the bars are 725 millimeters long and they are very, very responsive. I mean, guys, I feel so connected to this bike right now. And I was completely shocked that the nation decided to go with these Epixen forks. And not that, uh, not that it's a fork I didn't want on here. It's definitely a fork that I was kind of hoping for. Um, and, you know, I'm just surprised that the name brand, not that Suntour is not, but I'm really surprised that the name brand uh, fork did not win out, you know, the Rock Shocks. But it's, it's good. Uh, the only thing I don't like about, and we've done talked about this, right? But I got to mention it because it's a real-time review. It's a little busy up here. Now, most of the time, I, I, I'll be honest, I forgot. I mount the remote on the inside of the brake lever. So I just have the end of the brake lever to mess with and have the most kind of like modulation I can get with either one or the two fingers. We're fixing to try that out here in a little bit going down to cat's meow, the brakes. But um, it, it's just a little busy up here. There's a lot going on. And really, if it's going to be this busy, I want a dropper post. You know what I mean? I can care less about the uh, remote for the fork. Uh, now, this crank set is lovely. It's nice and smooth. The uh, no problems installing it with the uh, shaft there, if you will. 
the uh, pedals are very grippy, man. The race face chesters, especially with these Sandugo flats, these Sandugo flats are just stuck to those pedals. The pedals are stuck to these shoes and that's the way it should be. It definitely does feel safe. Feels like I got a pair of cleats on just like a freshly cut field. Overall, the uh, riding position, that 40 millimeter um, Pro Hansen stem is like directly on this fork and it just feels very stable. But yeah, man, this bike is very comfortable. And I really didn't, I'll be honest, I did not want to put this seat on there. This thing is ugly, but uh, it's comfortable. It's not bad. We might be changing that in the future, you know. Check with the Wolf Dick Nation first. But guys, if you're enjoying this real-time review and enjoying this build and this overall about to hit the cat's meow, we're almost there. Please give this video a thumbs up. Show us some love, spread it around. Veronica always can use a little bit of love. All right, Wolf Dick Nation, here we go. I'm gonna get some speed here. This NX shifter is shifting very fast right now. I wish I could get you guys a camera view of it, but I can't because uh, just Veronica doesn't like her hind end being recorded. Or Heine. All right, we're pumping it well. First thing I can say is I love the feel of these 725s. I'm rolling the hell out of this bike. First little tabletop here. Wow, Veronica is so well balanced. Very well balanced, Nation. Okay, I'm getting to hit plenty of deep gears with that group set to go faster. Really light on the front end. A little sloppy with the front tire. First tabletop. Second, uh, Brandy step up. Nice and smooth on the step up, I've learned. Also got my safety stuff on, but very smooth so far. I will say the balance of this bike is great. So well balanced. The front and rear tires, front tire is a little sketchy already, and that's a little, that's sketchy just saying that because we won't have the tire test area yet. Very well balanced bike. Everything feels good. The NX shifter, golly, that's where it's at. All right, I am digging this bike. We got the famous spot between the trees up here and that fork is doing so good up there. God, I'm glad you guys picked that fork for this bike. Okay, famous spot between the trees. Oh yeah, Baron 1C, that chain stay protector you uh, sent us. It's holding up well and it's being, uh, it's being used. Not a lot of chain slap. She's a quiet girl. Okay. We got a little tire test area down here. We'll see how this Maxis handles it. Yeah, I had to slow it down a lot there, guys. A lot of air there. Slow it down a lot. Now let's see what these switchbacks are all about. Front end, that front tire is wanting to slip out a little bit. Brakes are working tremendously. They're gripping really well. And you guys are right, there is some modulation there. Don't get me wrong, I can feel that, uh, that pad making contact. But what's nice is it kind of feels, makes contact, and then you got some room, some more room to squeeze. And it's kind of, it's pretty forgiving. So uh, yeah, very big fan of the uh, Ceram Tees, guys, the level Tees. Wow. All right. All right, well, a lot of fun. That was a blast, and it was really effortless going down the Cat's Meow on Veronica Corningstone here. She's just so damn smooth, man. I'm very happy with her. Um, guys, let's go ahead and get back to the truck. Let's talk to the Wolfman, and let's uh, let's kind of pick this thing apart a little bit and uh, talk about and the feel. All right guys, just got done with Veronica Corningstone on the Cat's Meow, and man, let me tell you something. It was just so effortless going down there. I flowed the entire time. The bike is so well balanced. The front end's light. This bike's right about 32 pounds, I believe. The rear end's light. I thought there was gonna be a lot of uh, like pedaling weight due to that Maxxis DH up front, you know, the Minion SS, but I mean, surprisingly, the bike is balanced. Now the problem with the Minion SS up front is that sucker you can feel it wanting to wash out very fast. So it, this bike is very fast, but I would be really interested to see what that Kenda, um, was that the Nevigal or whatever? Yeah, I would be really like interested to hear what that one is all, or see what that one's all about. 
but a very interesting ride. Everything held up really well. Now, guys, I do apologize for not really being able to show you guys the group set, but that thing was shifting really nice too. And that NX shifter, I think it's a little bit smoother. Uh, I mean, it's a little more sleek, that's for sure, and it's kind of hard to find exactly you where see to what shift. I'm talking about now? Yeah, yeah. It, it's very sensitive. But once I get down this shifter, it's going to be very fast, whether that's uh, shifting up or down. But uh, it's just very like you don't have a lot of room for. There's like no play in it whatsoever. But that's a good thing, you know what I mean? So I do like that. The fork shined up front, definitely. Um, I, I'm just such a fan of that pick, so I'm so glad that the Wolf Dignation decided to go with that fork on this bike. So if I were going to make any changes on Veronica Corningstone, it really would be just that front tire, you know? So yeah, man, just all in all, the bike did very well out there. And Berserker! Nick, you're the one that hooked us up with this Saram 12-speed group set to begin with, and the Race Face Chester Pell. So thank you so much, man. One of our patron, patrons just showing some support, like always. But man, this bike has a little bit of Wolf Dignation in it, a little bit of... Uh, just everybody, some patron stuff in it, but man, thank you everybody that voted on the polls for Veronica Corningstone. Um, pretty soon here we're gonna have to do a little uh, comparison video and kind of talk about some differences with Ron Burgundy, you know, but man, all in all, I'm very happy with it. Uh, let's give you guys a hand out there and uh, Wolf Dick Nation, we will see you guys on the next one. Please like, please subscribe, turn notifications on and uh, word has it, there is a time trial coming up. So we will see you then.